Hi, I'm René Splinter and welcome to a new vlog. Since I have this rare chance of having a theremin in my studio, I'd like to make the best out of it. And I would like to show you what, what I've been doing so far. So as you know, a theremin has a very monotone and monophonic sound. It's a tone that is controlled in pitch and volume by moving your hands toward or, or away from the machine. And its controllers are antennas. So it's one of the few instruments that you could play without touching it. This uh, controlling and playing sounds something like this. So while that is nice and okay, and uh, you can do a lot of things with that, I thought it may be a good idea to have another approach on pitch and volume. And I had an idea to put the sound, the audio output, into the micromodular from Clavia, which has a ring modulator effect in it, or module, and take this sound into this ring modulator and let it modulate with another oscillator within the micromodular. This sounds a bit complicated but the result is something like this. So while this is interesting already, uh, I thought it might be even more interesting to have the volume not only to control the volume or the timbre, but also the frequency of, let's say, some other uh, modulator. It sounds complicated, but the result is something like this. So, as you hear now, the horizontal antenna, which is normally used to control the loudness of the sound of the theremin, is now also controlling the rate of the LFO that is modulating the oscillator, which is modulating the ring modulator. Probably very complicated stuff, but I think it's very interesting, and I think it takes a very different approach to what is a, the normal output of the theremin. Lately I've been working on a soundscape that is uh, commissioned for an art exhibition that will probably be opened very soon somewhere here in Rotterdam. I've been using this effect already in this composition. Uh, I would like to show you and let you hear about this composition. It's a rough mix but uh, here it is anyway.
I hope you've enjoyed this experiment. I'll be updating you with more of these progresses and other issues that is happening in my studio. If you like what I'm doing here, please subscribe to my channel. So I'm signing off for now. Uh, hope to see you next time. I'm René Splinter. Bye bye.